All right, this is our first example for section 5.7. And in your notes, I asked you to sketch the following models, um, exponential, logarithmic, and logistic, and to read a little bit about it. So an exponential, you're very familiar with that. That looks something like that. And the form of that, you're familiar with that also. f of x equals a times b to the x. Logarithmic kind of looks like an inverted exponential. Um, so it looks like that. And it has the form f of x equals a plus b times the ln of x. So that's the form that we're going to use for logarithmic. Logistics, to me, looks kind of like a combination of exponential and logarithmic together. So it kind of starts out looking exponential, and then it kind of tapers off and looks kind of logarithmic. So again, I think of that, like I said, um, like a combination of the two. And the form of that looks like this. f of x equals c all over 1 plus a times e to the negative bx. So that's what the different forms look like. Um, let's go ahead and do a couple examples. So model one here, what you want to do um, is what I did in my calculator is I plugged everything in at one time. Okay, so in list one I have the x's. So this column right here goes in list one. And you can see they're the same for all three models. So that went in list one. List two went the f of x for example one. List three went the f of x for example two. And list four went the f of x for example Three. And what I would do if I was you is I would just put this on pause, enter that in my calculator, and then when I was ready, continue along. Okay. All right, so just to take a peek at my list, and here we are, list four, list three, list two, list one. Okay. Um, and I just put them all in there so I just didn't have to, you know, keep retyping them in there uh, every time. So let's do example one. So in example one, I want to turn on stop stat, sorry, stat plot number one. And first of all, I see that three is on, so let me turn three off. Turn off three. Good. So I'm going to turn on stat plot number one. There's stat, stat plot number one. Notice it says list one and list two um, because that's where I have the data for stat plot number one. So let's turn that on. And then you want to press a zoom nine. So there's my data uh, for example one. And then what I do is I look at uh, exponential, logarithmic, and logistic. And I make a decision of which one I think that is. And to me, that looks quite exponential. Um, so let's run an exponential regression. Stat, calc, and we're just going to go down to exponential. You've done this before. Nothing new here. Exponential, somewhere, there it is, exponential. And everything is in list one, list two, so I don't need to tell it anything. And there it is. So there's my A. My A is 0.4995. My B is 1.1998. So let me go ahead and write that um, for example 1 here. Example 1. So the equation we have there, f of x equals 0.4995. And then one point, I think I rounded it off to 1.2 here on the paper. So there's my f of x for example 1. And of course you know how to bring that into y equals VARS statistics, whoops, statistics, EQ, enter. And then you can see it graph down here. And then the question says find f of 10. So second window, type in 10, go to your table, and it looks like the value is 
4. Let me write it back over here. So what do we have? f of 10 equals 3.0904. Okay, that was example 1. That was exponential. Let's do the next one. All right, so uh, let's go back to, let's go to y equals. Let's delete that. Let's go back to our stat plot. And I'm going to turn off stat plot 1. And then I'm going to turn on stat plot 2. Notice I've already got um, stat plot 2. There we go. Stat plot 2, I say list 1 and list 3 because there, there's my data. List 1, list 3. So we're going to turn that on, and then we're going to press a zoom 9. And there's my data for example 2, and that looks logarithmic. So we're going to run a logarithmic regression, stat, calc, and go down to logarithmic, ln regression, there it is, logarithmic, ln, Enter. Now I have to tell it I have stuff in list 1, comma, list 3. So it looks at list 1 and list 3. Enter. All right, so there's my A and there's my B. Okay. Um, I can put that in. I'm not going to put that in Y equals and find G of 10. You can do that. Uh, it's the same method. But let's go back here. Let's choose a different color. So example 2, and I think I called that g of x. So we had negative 1.99 plus 3 times the ln of x. So there's your model for logarithmic. Okay, And then you can find g of 10. It's the same method. Let's do the last one. All right, so let's. I don't have anything in y equals, nothing to worry about there. Let's go to our stat plot. Let's turn off stat plot 2. Off. Let's go to stat plot 3. There we go. 3, enter. There's my stat plot 3. Notice stat plot 3 says list 1, list 4. And I want to turn that one on. And now I want to press zoom. 9. All right, now see how it looks like it's starting exponential and then it tapers off, looks kind of logarithmic. This is the logistics model. Let's run a logistics regression here. Stat, calc, and logistics is way down here. Power, logistics, there we go. There's logistics. Enter. Now I've got stuff in list 1, comma, list 4. All right, enter. And um, just giving you a little warning, look how long it's taking to do that. It takes a little longer to run the logistics model. So there's my A, there's my B, there's my C, and there's the model written up there. Let's go back to our table here, and let's write this. So example 3, so I just called that h of x. All right, so when we write that out, so I've got c on the top. So that was 4.5. And in the denominator, we've got 1 plus, well, then it's a. My a is 276.9 times e to the negative, and the b is 1.39x, and there's my logistics model. And again, you could find h of 10 in the same, same way that we did that before. All right, so let me just, before I conclude here, let me pull this back up and, and look at this. Okay, so this was kind of a simplistic example because I gave you three examples, and obviously one was exponential, one was logarithmic, and one was logistic. Um, let, let's look at a di the different one here for a minute. Um, okay, so let's look at this one here. But the other thing I want you to do is if it comes to you as a word 
problem. In other words, it's not just a set of data, but it's words associated with it, such as um, something is growing over time, or there's a disease that is growing. What you need to do is you need to evaluate the situation and think about whether it might be an exponential situation, whether it might be a logarithmic situation, whether it might be a logistic situation, simultaneously as you're looking at the data. So let's take, for instance, let's just think about um, little children when they're born and they start growing. If you have any experience with little brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, and when a baby starts out, they grow quite rapidly. Um, and then when they become a child, they have growth spurts. And then teen years, sometimes there's a growth spurt. And then when you become an adult, you're growing um, and I'm talking about height here, but your growing kind of slows down. So you might think of that kind of like growing faster and then slowing down and tapering out. So I might think that a logistics model would most represent the height um, of, a, of a human as they grew over time. And I'm just doing that just by thinking of the situation, not even looking at any, da any data. So when we work on the problems in class, I kind of want you to think about what model represents the situation as well as looking at the data. So this is the end of this lesson.